ability in a metal smithing studio to cut your metal and have nice straight edges is something that is very desirable. And there are a number of tools that are out there that allow you to do this. Hi, I'm Melissa Muir. In this video, I want to introduce you to the new Pepe Tool 6 inch guillotine shear. Now, I've had the opportunity to work with a lot of different types of shears in my my tenure as a metalsmith and working in various studios and I have to say this one really kind of excites me. So if you know anything about different shears, you'll know that some of them end up leaving a curve. So this started out as a solid piece. I used this in a bench shear and that's where we end up with the curve. Whereas a guillotine shear, the way that the blade is designed and the way that it comes down allows you to have a flat piece and be able to keep that straight edge without it curling on you. And that is where the power of these guillotine shears come in. Now the Pepe Tools guillotine shear uses A2 tool steel that has been heat treated to a Rockwell 48 to 52 hardness. What that does is makes certain that you have a good longevity or lifetime of nice hard cutting edges that aren't going to bend or mar easily. The blades are designed so that you can do approximately up to 10,000 cuts before you really even have to worry about sharpening it. I was so excited when I got this. First thing I did is I mounted this. Now you'll notice that it is not mounted directly to my tabletop, but rather I mounted it to a thick piece of wood that has then been clamped onto my table. This allows me as a teacher to be able to move this around and take it to my various workshops that I teach. But it is imperative that it is somehow mounted to a nice sturdy surface so that you can cut this without it falling over. Some of my favorite features of this guillotine shear is the 10 by 7 inch feeder table. This allows you to work with longer lengths of metal and not have to worry about it getting torqued out of place as you're getting things ready to do your cuts. So it gives it a nice resting place, makes certain that everything feeds in really well. In addition to that, you also have a stock that can be adjusted on the back side and that will allow for you to make consistent repeated cuts without having to just re-measure everything and remark everything. One of the things that I really like about the Pepe Tools guillotine shear is the fact that the handle is perpendicular. This allows you to have full control over the machine as you are going through the cutting process. The feeder table also features some miter box laser engraved markings. And these are marked for 0 degrees, 15 degrees, 30 degrees, and 45 degrees. The item comes completely assembled with the exception of the handle, which is very easy to slip in and just tighten up a screw with the provided Allen wrench. I was able to test the shear out with a whole range of items. So starting with 30 gauge copper and going all the way up to 14 gauge copper, I really wanted to push this and see what I was able to get. As you can see with all of my different results, this shear worked beautifully. Things were cut perfectly straight. I, ha I did not have any burrs on any of my edges and I also didn't have any curling that was happening due to the cutting force. Now things worked really nice for me until I reached about 16 gauge. Because this is a shorter blade, you require more torque. Now, I was able to give it that amount of torque, but it took a lot of work and effort. After I did my testing with 16 and 14 gauge, I did notice that I needed to adjust the blade and kind of shim it a little bit so that I would have that nice tight tolerance for my thinner gauges again. So once I went up to 14 and, and 16 gauge and I tried to do a 30 gauge again, at that point I did notice that my blade was misaligned a little bit and it also would create a little bit of a bend or a burr during the cutting process on those thinner materials. So, so on this particular shear, if you were going to use this, I would suggest that 18 gauge is probably about the thickest that you would go. You are definitely able to cut thicker, but you will spend more time adjusting the blade to get it back to a tight tolerance for some of those thinner materials.
In my studio, that's really not an issue. The highest I usually do any of my jewelry pieces is typically 18 anyway. This shear is available at many of the retailers where you usually purchase any of your Pepe Tools items. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me a line or give me a shout out and I'll do my best to answer your questions.